Widgets just got a big update. So today I'm gonna to show you some tips and tricks that will help you customize your home screen, improve your productivity, and just help you get more out of your iPad. Very quickly, if you're not sure what widgets are, they show you current information from your favorite apps at a glance. So things like today's headlines, the weather, and events from your calendar. There are also some amazing third-party widgets, so I can do things like take a quick look at my battery life, storage, and memory usage. I'm gonna first show you the new features then show you how to use them, and then finally show you a couple of my favorite widgets. Until now, we were only able to add widgets in Today View. You had the option of accessing them by swiping right from the first page on your home screen so you can see them, or you could select to keep them on your home screen next to your apps by tapping and holding down on any widget, and then enabling the option to keep on home screen. This all changed in iPadOS 15, and now widgets can go anywhere. They can go between your apps, you can group them on their own pages, and you can still put them in today view. Another big change is that widgets don't disappear when you hold the iPad in vertical or portrait mode. Until now, even if you chose to keep them on your screen, as soon as you went into portrait mode, they would go off screen and you'd have to swipe right to see them. Now you can rotate your iPad and the apps and widgets will rearrange themselves for vertical orientation without you losing any functionality. Now let's start adding some widgets and then also let's talk about some of the new widgets. So to add a widget to your home screen, tap and hold any empty spot until the apps begin to jiggle. Then tap the plus icon on the top left to open the widget gallery. You can search for a widget by name, you can select one of the suggested widgets on the right, or you can scroll through an alphabetical list of widgets on the left. Now once you select one, let's say the weather widget, you can swipe to select the size that you want. I'm going to select the largest one so that I can see the next couple of hours and the next couple of days at a glance. You can either tap add widget, which will add it to the next available spot on the page, or you can tap and hold, which will hide the widget gallery, and then you can drop it wherever you want. I like this option better because it saves me from having to go and rearrange all my widgets later on. In case you wanna first add all your widgets and then go look at the page and rearrange them, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. With iPadOS 15, we got some new widgets. When you look at the widgets gallery, you'll see ones for the App Store, Contacts, Find My, Game Center, and Mail. When I'm finished showing you all the new features, I'll show you some of the widgets that I use every day to really streamline my workflow and then just to give me a better overall iPad user experience. Once you're done adding widgets to your home screen pages, you may want to rearrange them, especially if you just tapped add widget. Now all you need to do is tap and hold the widget and then drag it to any position that you want on the page. You can keep all your widgets grouped or you can have them mixed with the apps. It's entirely up to you. You can also create a smart stack, which is essentially a set of several widgets that only take up one spot on the page. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Some widgets have functionality that can be edited to give you a more customized user experience. To do this, you can tap and hold on a widget from your home screen and then select Edit Widget. I'll show you a couple of examples of what you can do. With the Google Drive widget, you can choose between showing suggested files or having upload and camera buttons. The calendar widget gives you options like hiding all day events and the ability to either mirror the calendar app or select specific calendars to show. And once you're finished, just tap anywhere outside of the widget to return to the home screen. Earlier, I talked about Smart Stack, which is a set of several widgets that uses information like time, your location, and your activity in order to display the most relevant widget at the appropriate time of the day. You'll be able to identify Smart Stack because it will have dots next to it when you first swipe to get on the page and when the apps jiggle. You'll also see that you can swipe through the Smart Stack to scroll through the various widgets. To create a Smart Stack, you can select it from the widget gallery and then choose the size that you want. Once it's added, you can tap and hold and then select Edit Stack. Here you'll be able to add, rearrange, and remove apps, and you'll also be able to disable Smart Rotate and widget suggestions. Smart Rotate is a feature I talked about earlier which takes into account your activity, location, and type of the day. So for example, if every day when you wake up you check the weather app, then the AI will learn that pattern and then it will suggest that widget automatically for you when you wake up. Now widget suggestions automatically suggests widgets that you don't already have in your stack 
and it could perhaps expose you to widgets that you didn't know existed. Now, to add a widget to the smart stack, make sure that you're in the edit stack mode, which you can recognize because the rest of the apps and widgets on the screen will be blurred out. Then hit the plus button on the top left, which will bring up the widget gallery. You'll see that all your options are now limited to the widgets that fit the size of the current stack, and you can tap on one to add it. To rearrange widgets within the stack, tap and hold on one of the widgets and then slide it up or down and drop it where you want it to be. To remove a widget, tap the minus icon on the top left of the widget, confirm that you want to remove and you're all set. Now, once you're finished, tap anywhere outside of the stack to get out of edit mode. If you've gotten value from this video, give it a thumbs up. It lets me know what kind of content you like so I can make more of it. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. When you're first setting up your widgets, you're probably gonna be experimenting a bit and you may end up wanting to remove a widget. To do that, tap and hold the widget and then tap the minus icon on the top left and confirm that you want the widget removed. Before I get to how I use widgets and why I think they're so useful, I wanna show you that you could still get widgets in the Today View panel. To do this, just swipe right from the first home screen page and then click edit. You'll be able to tap the plus icon on the top left and then add a widget, customize existing widgets, or remove any widget that you want. Now that you know how to select and organize widgets, let me tell you about a couple of widgets that I use every day. The first one I already mentioned, and that's the weather widget. It's the first thing that I look at every day in the morning so that I know what to put on before going downstairs to let the dogs out. I use the largest widget available because I wanna see the next few hours and the next four days. Another widget that I find helpful is Dropbox. I use Dropbox to store and share documents and I like all of the options that I have for widgets. You can choose between having a small launch action widget with one action and a medium sized one with four actions for scanning a document, uploading a file, uploading a photo, and recording audio. There are two sizes of recents widgets, which will show me the most recent files. And then finally, there is a start item widget for quick access. I use the launch action one with four options, and I could switch one of those for creating a file, but that's not something that I do very often. I also added the larger mail widget so I can quickly preview my most recent emails. And this saves me from having to go into the mail app just to see who an email is from and what it is about. Now the next widget I wanna tell you about is from an app called Usage. It essentially lets you display system information in a lot of pre-configured widgets or even customize your own widgets. So for example, on this screen, I have two preset widgets, one for storage and one for memory and then one custom widget that I created for battery life. I'm working on a more detailed widget video, but a few other ones that I wanted to quickly highlight are the reminders widget, so I can quickly see if I have any reminders, the calendar widget, of course, so I can see the next couple of days at a glance, and then finally the Google Docs widget, so I can quickly upload a file or search for an existing file. Hopefully this video was helpful. Click on my face to subscribe and then watch one of these videos. You know what I always say? Buy it nice or buy it twice. Good luck and see you soon.